All right, let's 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 just get the question out of the way. Yes, these are man Uggs, size 15. Don't knock it unless you've tried them. They're the most comfortable thing. Thanks, babe, for get, for convincing me to get a pair of Uggs because they are, they're cozy and comfy. Get yours too. <laughs> Christmas Island. It's uh, on that trip with Ren. Oh my God, I uh, I caught a giant trevally that was pushing a hundred pounds. So the guides would kind of estimate based off of the girth and size of how much this thing weighed, but it was uh, nearly 100 pounds. And I caught this thing on the fly rod and it was like nothing else. It, it's, it, you know, bonefish are like casting at a jet ski. Well, catching a giant trevally is like hooking on to a freight train that's that's speeding down the tracks at about 60 miles an hour and there is just no stopping them. Check it. I burned out my reel. I had this, uh, actually, you know, I broke my rod uh, on, on a GT right when I got there on the trip. I don't know if it was a defective rod, but snapped it off. So I, I had my eight weight. I put my giant 10, uh, 10, 12 weight Remington reel that had, you know, the, the super heavy duty line and the s tons of backing. And, and not only did this thing almost spool me, it just would not come in. It, uh, it burnt out the drag. So I had no drag left by the time I was done landing this fish. It was a miracle that I got it in, but, but it, took, God, it took nearly 40 minutes to land this thing. My arms were tired, I mean, but fish of a lifetime. It was unbelievable. Like nothing that I've ever experienced in my life. So I caught a couple other smaller GTs on that trip as well, which were far more manageable, super fun. You know, after that big initial run, it's like trying to reel in a sheet of plywood sideways. So you can imagine what that's like. They just kind of keep their whole body against you and are just pushing and pushing and pushing. So you're literally having to pull this thing sideways through the water, but it's like, uh, it's just unbelievable. And not only the fishing, I mean, the, the wildlife there. Uh, I had a, I bought a GoPro and I took a picture of these hermit crabs and it was under this, it was on Paris and it was under this mangrove type of tree. And I saw all these hermit crabs kind of scurrying around. So I just stuck my hand underneath there and started taking a bunch of pictures. And I had a photo that was just epic. Uh, I was part of the, the GoPro uh, Facebook group and I actually submitted that fo photo for GoPro. And they gave me, uh, it was like photo of the month type of honors on this photo that I'd submitted. And it was so cool, not only to get that recognition, but just the shot itself is, is pretty amazing. I actually blew it up on canvas and it's sitting in my uh, fishing room. But the, the, it's crazy, these big frigate birds, it's like they don't, Christmas Island doesn't see a lot of people. So uh, the wildlife, you know, they weren't really afraid of you. And these great big frigates, these huge, I mean, they're like six or seven foot wingspan. They would come in and I don't know if they were expecting something or just curious, but you hold your hands up in the air and just kind of make this little pinchy, pinchy type of thing. And these huge frigate birds would sail in and kind of hover right over your head. And they're sailing on the trade winds while, while you're walking to the next fishing spot. It was just incredible. Like, like nothing I have ever experienced. I mean, I've gone down, I've gone to Christmas Island now three times and you know, it kicks your butt 
every single time, but I cannot wait for another trip to Christmas Island because the, 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 the fishing, the wildlife, the people and the experience is like, like nothing that I can really describe. It's just incredible. Such an incredible thing. So of course now I'm, I'm a completely obsessed when it comes to fly fishing. In fact, I was at Red's Fly Shop uh, just a few days ago and no, no, sorry, it was a Silver Bowl. I was at Silver Bowl Fly Shop uh, a few days ago in Spokane and I saw the secret fly, the secret fly that catches bonefish no matter where you go. And I wiped them out. I bought every single one. They're hard to find, especially with uh, what's happening in today's world. So I bought every single one. So I'm prepared to go again because I have discovered the secret of bone fishing in Hawaii. Thanks to Ren and a lot of help that he gave me along the way, uh, but also a lot of a lot of homework by myself and a lot of trial and error, I have figured out where the bonefish are and why and have caught some absolute dandies in Hawaii. We'll save that for another story, So, but it's super cool. Love bone fishing. In fact, that's what I want to do. When I retire, um, I don't think I want to live anywhere trop tropical. I, I mean, I love the Pacific Northwest and don't want to give up everything this has to offer, but I'll be doing a lot of traveling to the Florida Keys, to Hawaii, probably do another Christmas Island trip, maybe in Belize, possibly down to Mexico, but you know, going after these bonefish are, are, uh, is a passion of mine and I can't wait to explore more uh, when I become uh, retirement age. But for now, I'll just have to wait for vacations. Hey there, I'm Fly Fish Dan and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fly Fish Dan. <laughs> Anyway, if you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. You won't regret it. And consider leaving me a comment and tell me what you think of this video. All right, let's do this. Fish on. Good. Oh yeah. 
that's amazing.
absolutely beautiful out. Got to love this place. Wow, what a picture.